two minutes to my colleague and friend from uh, the state of Texas, uh, Chip Roy. Gentlemen's recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman from California. I would note that we've only really had now two people speak in opposition to the bill out of the 40 minutes that's been on the floor. And that's just the reality of what we deal with here. The fact of the matter is, all of this is a shell game. Last year, Republicans were presented with a bill that was supposed to cap spending at $1.59 trillion. Now we have legislation that will do no such thing. Republicans will go around and they'll talk about how they scored major wins, how they somehow delivered for the American people. The fact of the matter is, we did no such thing. We signed up for caps at $1.59 trillion. We could have had $1.56 trillion if we would have passed a CR this year that would have triggered the caps. Limit safe growth that we passed was $1.471 trillion, but we're not doing that. We're going to blow the lid off of caps at $1.66 trillion. That's what we're actually going to do. While my Republican colleagues are going to run around and say that they somehow delivered cuts by saying $24 billion of cuts off of a CR that not one member of this body could come down to the floor and explain. And I would take that challenge. If any member of the body can come down and explain to the American people in terms that they can understand, explain it, exactly what the cuts look like. Because what you'll get are things like, oh, we cut 7% out of the FBI. But what they won't tell you is 95% of that cut is eliminating an earmark from Richard Shelby because Richard Shelby is no longer here to defend his pet project building back in Alabama. And they're going to say, oh, look, we're cutting the Department of Justice and the FBI. But the truth of the matter is we didn't get any of the major wins that we worked all last year to get. All of these things, like defunding the sanctuary cities, refusing to report criminal aliens, gone. All of these measures are not in the bill. I rise in opposition to this legislation. I hope my Republican colleagues will oppose it. We deserve to deliver for the American people the way we said we would to cut spending and secure the border of the United States. I yield back. Gentlemen, it's time.